verse 25, continuing on with the reading of uh, Mark chapter 9, uh, verse 25, where um, I left off from the previous video. When Jesus saw the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose, and when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, I've asked that many questions, I've asked that questions many times in the last 15, 16 years. And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Matthew 14, 14 says, And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them and the, he healed their sick and there's like dozens of other scriptures um, that I could prove to you that um, before healing deliverance took place compassion had to be there so I believe the message of the dream that the Lord had given me in this dream was that we must have compassion and if we don't have it within our own ability we ask the Lord you know the Holy Spirit to give us um, that supernatural love mercy and compassion that he has shed abroad when we were born again although we have the love of God as soon as we are born again and the Spirit of the Lord comes upon us but um, we have to continually choose to walk in love, choose to walk in mercy, choose to walk in compassion because God does nothing apart from love, from mercy, from compassion. So if you, like me, has always been hungry for the deeper things of the Lord, to see His power and presence upon our lives and in His churches and in His people, to see His power and radiance and glory, you know, His love setting people free, you know, those in our family, those in our community, those in our churches and in our world. If you hunger and thirst to be more like our Lord and Savior and His disciples who chose to believe and follow Him. We must make love, compassion, and mercy as a top priority in our lives, in our heart. So every day, we must go to the Lord and ask Him to fill our hearts with His love, to open our eyes, to see people through His eyes of love to open our ears to hear the truth and to have understanding and wisdom and our hearts to love as He loved us when we were wretched and miserable and unlovable and um, was cursing Him and running from Him like I did, you know. Because in order to be filled with His power, anointing and presence, Love must be overflowing in our hearts. So I pray that this dream, this message um, that I've shared encourages you to draw closer to our Lord and Savior, the God of love, for us to ask Him to be filled with His supernatural love for those around us. I believe in the last days there will be people seeking those with the presence of God, they will follow us and they will seek us out in the crowd to pray for them. You know, um, I'm going to be hated for sharing this, but that's okay. Um, I've had throughout the last uh, 16 years 
of walking with the Lord in different seasons, even, you know, from 2003, 2004, 2005, up to three weeks ago, I've had people whom I've never come in contact with, who for whatever reason, and I know it's the Holy Spirit behind it, but the details, the natural details, I don't know how it all worked out, but they would come and seek me out to pray for them. And just to give you an example, um, you know, one example like three weeks ago, and I've been attending this church um, 15 minutes from my home for the last um, two and a half, three months since I've been back to the States. And um, just been worshiping there usually Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, don't really know many people, they don't know me. Um, but for whatever reason, there was a woman, an elderly woman, um, whom I crossed path while I was coming out of the ladies' restroom, she was going in. And I opened the door, almost hit her, and I apologized. And then she looked at me with this blank stare. And I've never met her before, she's never met me. She looked at me at this blank stare, she's like, are you the one? I'm like, are you the one that's what? The loud one? Because <laughs> I, I worship the Lord with intense passion and um, free. I feel free to worship Him without restriction and inhibition. I think that's the word I'm looking for. I need to check it out in <laughs> the glossary later <laughs> to make sure I'm communicating what I'm trying to communicate. And um, for whatever reason, this woman whom I've never met before said, I've been wanting to meet you. She just looked at me like in, in I don't know, just in shock, in awe, whatever. It's like, oh really? And I said, well, God bless you. And um, she's like, I, I've been telling my husband, I need to meet her, I need to meet this woman. And um, she started to tell